Hi, this is Sean from Sean.blog, and I wanted to take a few minutes today to show you something brand new in the social bookmarking space, a brand new version of Digo. Uh, it's actually about quarter to ten on Sunday night, but by the time you're viewing this, it'll be Monday the 28th, and 4.0 of Digo will be released. Uh, Digo is a social bookmarking tool, uh, and more importantly, a social annotation tool, which allows you to actually mark up comment and so on uh, public websites and store those along with your bookmarks. The version 3.0 beta, which is currently available, or will be up until Monday morning, uh, is what you see on the screen right now. But if we move over here, we can see that Digo actually has a completely brand new revamped user interface and a whole lot of new features that I wanted to spend uh, a few minutes today talking about. Uh, Digo has done quite a bit of work to clean up the user interface and to add some additional functionality while maintaining sort of a core focus on social bookmarking and annotation. Uh, I want to show you a couple of the new user interface options, especially as it relates to uh, the kind of the core bookmarking functionality. So the first thing I want to show you is they have three brand new options for viewing your library. Instead of calling it my bookmark, it's now called my library. Uh, the first option is sort of the traditional full view, which shows all the tags and uh, the number of people that have saved it and so on. There's also a slightly smaller view, which they use for, they call it best for browsing. It sort of cleans up the interface, um, gives it a little more space devoted to bookmarks. And finally, the compact view, which is really focused in on just showing you as many bookmarks as you can uh, in as much space or as little space as possible. Uh, so that's uh, kind of nice. It makes it a little bit easier to uh, customize your own library, your own set of bookmarks. Another thing they've added, they've had this before, but they've re redone it a little bit. It's called Snapshot, where they're actually going out and taking a copy of the different websites and storing them. One of the nice things with the Firefox and Internet Explorer toolbars is you can actually control when Digo makes these snapshots. You can actually tell it to grab a snapshot when you want, as opposed to waiting for Digo to do it, uh, which is nice if you absolutely have to capture a piece of information on that website before it goes away. Another new feature which you can get to from here or from any other community pages is something called Digo Meta. And the Digo Meta page is basically an overview page uh, where you can see a lot of the social aspects of Digo coming into play. Uh, up at the top of this page there's a preview. Down below you can see the different people who have bookmarked it. If there were specific comments on the page or you wanted to make a comment you could make it. Tags that have been assigned to this bookmark. Related bookmarks from the same website. Or you could just bring up another Digo Meta. Up at the top up here you can see some sharing, liking, and saving options. So if you hadn't saved this bookmark and you wanted to, you could save it to your own. And the like function, which we've seen on FriendFeed and Facebook and uh, even now in Google Reader, has made its way into Digo 4.0 as well. So that's kind of nice. Uh, one of the things to point out quick, just as an overview of the user interface, is that Digo's got a brand new homepage, uh, which makes it a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to see. and puts a lot of emphasis on their educator accounts and sort of what's going on in the Digo world overall. Again, bringing some of the social aspect into the new Digo. Uh, this is the first of a couple of videos I'm going to do. I just wanted to give a quick overview of the brand new library interface. Uh, I'll also be covering some of the new networking groups, community features that are part of Digo 4.0, as well as walking through uh, some of the bookmarking annotation features in Digo. Uh, so check out those other videos as well. Thanks.